some changes are permanent if you were to stop testosterone and some may go back to the way they were before you were on hormones. So what changes are permanent? Your voice will more than likely stay the way that it dropped. Facial and body hair. If you stop testosterone, your body hair will not continue to come in more than it already is, but it will not go back. You will more than likely need electrolysis if you wanted to go back to being completely hairless on your face and body or wherever you had less hair. So any coarse thick hair that's come in, it's more than likely that body hair is going to stay. Bottom growth is more than likely that it will stay at its to the size that it has grown to. Hair loss on the head. Some people have reported that when they stopped testosterone, if they were in the process of their hair thinning, that the thinning stopped as soon as they stopped testosterone. Other people have reported that if they, if they were balding, they continued to bald after stopping testosterone. And keep in mind that if you have lost your hair altogether, it's incredibly unlikely that it would it will come back. Muscle and fat changes will go back more than likely to the way they were, the two more feminine patterns. That's not to say that all of your muscle gains will go away, but it's more than likely that your fat will then go back to areas it was pre-testosterone. Your menstrual cycle will return how quickly it does. Again, varies person to person if you still have your ovaries, uh, so keep that in mind. And then changes that may or may, changes that may or may not return back to the way they were pre-transition. Your skin might go back to being less oily, but um, that varies person to person. The body set may go back, but again, that is kind of an intangible, un unmeasurable uh, effect, so that just varies very greatly from person to person. Your sex drive may decrease, and that's assuming that it was less before you started testosterone, so it may go back to the way it was before, whether that was less or more than when you were on hormones. Within like a more medicinal side of things. Red blood cell count and cholesterol levels will probably revert closer to where they were pre-testosterone, which testosterone increases your red blood cell count and your cholesterol may increase. So those will more than likely go down again. Um, so those are things that you can keep in mind that are permanent or may go back to normal. So it's good to know which changes you're kind of committing yourself to, uh, you can't pick and choose with testosterone. Um, it's kind of an all or nothing sort of thing. There are some things that you aren't necessarily super hyped about. It might be in your best interest to weigh the things you really want against what you can't and what you don't want and decide what you can and can't live with. That's kind of what I had to do. I'm scared about losing my hair, but all the changes that I wanted way outweighed that. And also, that was a, just like a possibility. It's not a for certain sort of thing. Also, there are changes that might happen that you are wary of, um, but then when you're on testosterone, they end up being something that you're totally okay with or you really like. So um, you really never know until it's your experience. You um, can't really base it on what other people like and don't like. It's also good to know that you can detransition. A lot of people do. So your options are pretty wide. Um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope this was helpful, and uh, we'll see you next time.